Am I alive? Good, just, just go now. Good to go. What's up guys? I'm here in my backyard at my catalpa tree. And for the first time after planting it, four years later, we have catalpa worms. They feed on only catalpa trees. It's the only thing they eat. And they eat a lot. So I'm missing a lot of leaves because of the catalpa worms. But I've been coming out here every morning, every afternoon, checking on their growth. I've been monitoring their growth and they grow fast. They went from tiny little caterpillar looking worms to humongous fat caterpillar worms. I came out here one day and I noticed something weird about one of them. It had some little white bags hanging on it. And I thought, where are you going? Going on a, going on a trip? Bags all packed up? No. No, I did a little research. He's not going anywhere. See, what had happened to this little guy was a parasitic wasp landed on his back and injected its eggs inside of it. The wasp lays its eggs inside of the catalpa worm. <sighs> it only gets worse from there. The eggs hatch and the little wasp larvae chew their way out of the catalpa worm. Mind you, he's still alive, kind of. More of a zombie at this point. Stuck to the leaf, but not eating anymore just he's just basically a nest now for wasp so they chew their way out of the worm still alive and they spin these little silk cocoons and they just dangle from the catalpa worm until they hatch and they fly off and the cycle continues it's one of the worst things I've ever discovered about nature but I am I am pretty happy it doesn't happen to humans or dogs. But on the, on the bright side, the catalpa moths, the sphinx moth, catalpa sphinx, it's a huge moth that these things turn into eventually if they make it that far. I've got three or four right now that are just zombied out. Um, they pollinate the catalpa tree, so next year I might have my first blooms. I've, I've waited three, four years and everybody says, it's three, four, five years before you'll have blooms, but I never saw any, but I didn't know you needed the worms in order to pollinate the flowers. So next year it might flower. I don't know, I'll let you know. Well, that's all. I just wanted you to have to learn what I had to learn because it happened to me in my backyard. What, what a disgusting, horrific circle of life. Blech. See you next time.